。来来来，照相机啊！不要不要拍照、啊。No flash cameras is what we're being told. Or any other cameras, modest as well. But、uh, the fact remains, it、uh, can't have people taking pictures of、no. players on their shot with the flash camera.、It、doesn't work in snooker. So Matthew Stevens, who's not had the best of seasons, I don't think, by his high standards. Drew from the Wushi Classic with a back injury. It's not really Matthew's cup of tea to withdraw.、Uh, lost in the Shanghai Masters to Joe Perry, and lost in European Tour Three event the other day to Graham Dock. Fourteen. So he's been in the best of form. Beaten by Barry Hawkins in the last sixteen of the Goldfields Australian Open. Had missed an easy、Matthew's、shot there. there. Fourteen. Potential shock here. I suppose so. I suppose so. Beating Ken Dogherty already, as I say, this youngster. So he would see this as a similar type of match in many ways. One against the player that's been around a while. Clearly hiding for nothing for him.、But、we're going to find out what he's like. Already, I kind of like what I see. That with the rest, he did. Seems to be a good rest、what? player. I suspect he plays most of his shots with it. But he missed that one, and he smiles. It was a great chance, actually, here in early in frame one. With his match to Liu Kangming, local referee. No. Played it slowly. That helps. Sixteen. Seventeen. It's an important time for Matthew Stevens. Like I say, this tournament carrying equal points as UK Championship. Twenty-four.、And、I guess he's on a bit of a hiding to nothing. Where Matthew Stevens figures in the draw, come to in a moment. Twenty-five. That's the worst place on the table to finish.
the winner of this match plays Neil Robertson. Uh, Matthew Stevens would be expected to come through, but you just can't be certain of that. So Matthew has been in twice and he's not made that many. In total of 39 points, he leads by handy 25. Earlier today, as I mentioned, we had wins for Xiao Yu Peng beating John Higgins. That was a big shock, actually. We also had Mark Selby beating the world finalist, twice finalist in the world, both times losing to Ronnie O'Sullivan, last of which was in May of this year. Ali Carter, 6-3 to Mark Selby in that one. Well, just about to play a shot. <laughs> <Some of moves. coughs> We've seen it to be four, haven't we? I mean, I Just the understanding of it all, really, isn't it? That uh, the people who are involved don't quite understand that you just can't move around behind the line of a shot. Oh, it didn't help him, did it? All that, and he's immediately given a chance. Not pleased. Oh dear, that was his, <laughs> hit that considerably too hard. It's a very scruffy start to the match from both players. They've both missed balls and Matthew has given his young opponent a good few chances already. He needs to stamp some authority early in this match. I suspect that Zhao Zintong will improve. What? Well, yeah, the choice of pink or black, I suspect, would like to be a little straighter on the pink. A very good shot. Seventeen. So is that, by the way, with his camera on the middle red. 24. Twenty-five. 
ซะทั่วAnother chance for Jing Ting Tong. Xiao Jing Tong here is getting lots of opportunities early early on here. That is not so at all. Uh, one of the morning matches not finished yet. Sorry, uh, the pinches match against the wild card player. It's been ongoing. It's Moon in. Four. It's five, four. So that's a long, long match. And uh, luckily, there's only two other matches on today, which or this evening. Which means that they can carry on. Often they'll be taken off the table until another match finishes. Eleven. Thirteen. Sixteen. So. 22 the difference with exactly that on. Fun. One nil to the young Chinese wildcard player. The most dynamic of frames with mistakes made on both sides, but Zhao Zintong wins it. He's back in the five frames. Nil. Someone knew that Graham Dot won the first frame against Dominic Dale. Nice break of the tournament. Neil Robertson's 137. One of three centuries he made yesterday. Not a century yet today, it would seem, looking through the list. Zhao Zintong uh, made one yesterday against Ken Doherty in the wild card round, 111. So we know he can play. Watching live World Snooker TV. This is the international event, Chengdu. And Second Matthew frame. Stevens, Matthew Stevens champion, one nil down.
think you get the feeling about this match is that it's uh, we played at a fairly rapid rate and there's going to be chances on both sides. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Be straight on this. There's not much angle. One of the best he's hit in the match so far. Set four.
Played left-handed. Does pretty well, actually. 35. Chance to go into them. Maybe the pink would be the ball to hit here. Off ball. It might spread them nicely. Worst, the red to the bottom corner pocket he's got. 42. Oh, that's a pity. Marshall Stevens. Oh, good 42. Immediately given something, I would say, for Xiao Zin Tong to go for. Ran into the same pocket that Matthew missed that went into. Cubal's tight. Yeah. Four. It's the only trouble with going for the red that he I went for. Leave. He had no control Four. over the object ball. I saw the cue ball. Very nice. Seven. Eight. Well, not quite there yet. On this one, and fifteen. That's a good shot. So the frame's now over. And I think we've already got a clue that this is going to be an open match. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Such two. Such two.
34. Looking better now. First time he hadn't settled at all. He's locked at one all here. 38. 40. Oh, Pinches was 5 2 down against Looning, but he's down on 5 all. 43. One more frame to decide who makes it through out of that wild card round. Forty-seven. Wins the first, his first frame, the second of the match to level the score one all. Matthew Stevens turned professional as a 16 year old, got in the 16 in 1999, twice runner up in the World Championships. The worst of all was in the year 2000, or well, the most disappointing, losing to Mark Williams, having led 13 7, beating 18 and 16 in the Crucible final of 2005 by Sean Murphy. Third frame, Zhao Xintong break. <coughs> frame is underway. Well, as you saw, hit the wrong ball there. I have seen that again, actually.
。哎，那。So as predicted, open snooker from both players. Plenty of chances flying around. Matthew might do well to tighten things up a bit. Would give him a better chance, I would say. Get someone as green as Zhao Zintong. It's really not to, by any means the finished article yet. Clearly the talent is there. Seventeen. Uh, Left-handed again for Matthew, who's, as I say, been doing this and playing this way for a number of years. Not in the O'Sullivan class with his opposite hand, but he's all right. He's not much of a player with the rest, or he certainly doesn't like to use it. Thirty-six. <coughs> Thirty-seven. He's pushed the blue safe. 37 points, a reasonably good advantage. <coughs> Not necessarily a frame winner, but I guess it helps him more than his opponent. Securing this will be his first real test. Well enough to plot that. And once again we see this young Chinese player Xiao Zintong getting a chance. What? <clears throat> Oh, 
Well, he struggled his way onto that red, but he didn't too close to it. Well, this is a Philly little shot there, really close up to it. Oh dear. Well, he couldn't afford to do that, having missed it in that way. An awfully like 2 1 here to Matthew Stevens, if he can just. Well, he probably I, I might have to play the red out with a pocket. He wouldn't have wanted to. There is another red that pots, but it's a question of what colour he can get on from that. The fact that he could get on the green, it means he's got the reserve red there whenever he wants it. Little nudge on it, and uh, the lead now is a Seven. very handy one. Forty-five points and counting. Well, if the photographers are not moving, there's insects flying around. Well, this will make it a 60 point advantage with only 59 left on. Which uh, effectively should be enough. Although Zhao Zintong should play on for snookers, of course. Wanting only one. Not impossible that he could get them or get it. Marshall Stevens, 28. Dominic Dale and Graham dot one all. Pinches and Looning five all. On the other table, Looning 51 1 in front though.
made contact there, although we do feel that the uh, the red to the middle once that's potted means it's the end of frame three. <laughs> One. Effectively ends the frame. Seven. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. So Matthew Stevens, having lost the first frame, has quickly gone 2 1 up. And he plays left handed shots when he has to. He's not like Ronnie, he plays them whenever he feels like it, whether he needs to or not. 22. 22. Thirty-five. Forty-one. For Marshall Stevens. Forty-one. So 2-1 to Matthew Stevens here in a very open and slightly ragged match, not been one of the best yet. I well, knew that it's five all in the match that started, uh, well, local time at uh, 2.30 this afternoon. Basically, um, oh, yeah. to a six-hour match that. So still the interval up to four frames, despite it being a longer match. Frame four. Marshall Stevens break. First to six, don't forget. And so we're playing virtually six hours. Including the break that'll be of course in the the Looning and Barry Pinch's clash.
kuat That was well played, and uh, as a consequence, he's got a, quite a nice shot here to get onto the black to the right corner. <laughs> the red above it goes, he can make a lot of this. Seven. Fourteen. As you see, this red does pot. So, fifteen. There was the chance to clear the black to both corner pockets, but we're still going to get the pack open at some point soon. Movement behind the shot again. Well, after this, he's got to work out. Will it be that he twenty-seven can get onto the pink to dis disturb some reds, or has he got to play on the black? Either way, the pack aren't very nicely grouped up here at all. Or is there a plant there? It's two reds. That'll be interesting. Is it a plant? That's the question. He's had a good look at it. it it's not. It's not natural. You know, I always thought it was going to hit that jaw. To be honest. Marshall Stevens, certified.
Simple safety shot for Matthew to push that red away from the pocket that Xiao Xing Tong has rolled up to. to be careful that he doesn't push some reds into play if he plays safe on the left hand side of the pack may have a go at this long red though he's having a look at it well, he doesn't uh, refuse much does he and as a consequence he gives a lot of chances that was another one and Matthew could easily close out the frame there very inexperienced player Xiao Zintong Surprised. What? Surprised about the win against Ken Doherty, actually. Because uh, he looks to me as like somebody who, if, if you keep it tight, would give you a lot of opportunities. No doubt if you miss and leave him in, he'll, he'll score. But he's very green. Not the finished item at all. Long way to go on that regard. This experience would do him a lot of good, though. Which, of course, is the reason for the wild card round, anyway. Six. Seven. Well, not a good shot this time. If Matthew can drop in behind this. Well, if he can roll in behind it, then he will try and get over to the left of the bulk area in behind the yellow or beyond so he didn't leave that red cuttable just like that Marshall Stevens 7 going to be good leaving with his hand on the table something to go at he'll go for it full bloodedly as a young player should really
four. Well, he, uh, he can get to the black, I think. To knock it in. Maybe he can't. That looked to me from this angle that he could get to it, but clearly not. Rubo. Wow, what a shot that is. Great shot. Well, didn't have to play it, but when he did, it was very nicely done. Ten. Oh, no, not that. He's missed a sitter. Ten. Can't believe it. Seven. Now the problem slightly here is which red he can get on. Don't think that anything goes to the left corner. The red to the right, the black doesn't pass the black into that pocket. But I guess if the top red goes. How can he get across there? Oh yes, what a shot! That's beautiful. There was not a very big gap to go to. That was a really good shot. Thirty. Fourteen. Only been playing an hour. They have played a very open match, these Fancy. two. Twenty one. So it'll be 3-1 to Matthew Stevens. It'll take 15 minutes shortly before play resumes. Set six. Set eight. What you want? Forty-five. Fifty. Took a little while to settle in. Lost the first frame. Gave chances away, but since then he's played a lot better. Missed one or two still, but. 56. He's been punished for those mistakes, and Matthew Stevens will indeed lead 3 1. It is 2 1 to Trev. It's 5 all with Pinches wanting snookers in the decider there. But Matthew saying, well, it's a bit of 50 50 there. Oh dear. And I don't oh, think three. Matthew will be interested in the miss. In fact, I know he won't. That is effectively that fluke has cost him the frame. Oh. <coughs> 
Something else on the table. Something that shouldn't be there. No longer there, I don't think. But uh, the score is no longer 3-1 either. It's now 4-1. Barring a snooker, of course, which wouldn't be easy anyway if Matthew was to miss this, where the black is tied on the side kitchen rail. ended up a bit of good fortune on the colours for Matthew Stevens, but the lead extends to four frames to one. Matthew puffing out for toilet break. Just an update on the other table. Dominic Dale is 3-2 up over Graham Dot. And we had a match earlier that went into the second session, actually. Came into the evening, afternoon session. It was a 6-5 win for Lu Ning over Barry Pinches so the wild cards strike again whether this wild card player having had a win against Ken Doherty yesterday would be good enough I don't know Xiao Zintong looks a little bit uh, well, as if as good as he might be and as talented as he looks he looks at times as if he doesn't really understand the finer points of it, it goes for a lot of balls He'll learn. He'll learn. This is the best way to learn. Well, he's a young player with a, no doubt a future in the game. But he's still learning. Zhao Jintong on the right there, of course. 15 years of age and not 16 until April of next year. Springtime in the UK. Nice break in practice, 147. Currently ranked Number six among Chinese under 21 players. He significantly is 4 0 down here, 4 1 down here, having won the first frame. Stevens breaking off then and leading by four frames to one. That was unlucky. Play to nudge that red. I think he might be on the pink. <laughs> so 
Thank you. <coughs> well, it's the only way he knows, so he's going to try and crash this long pink in. Very nice striking. No luck, though. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, well, it was a chance. And he's only made 18 from two opportunities, quite good ones. Have to go into them, and he's waiting one for now, clearing up a few of the reds in the middle of the table first. Well, the pack needs to be split open sooner rather than later. Well, now is as good as time as any, I would say. Oh, Mr. Can you believe that? It's Mr. Black off the spot. That wasn't in the plan.
and just can't quite play in the same fashion that he did earlier on against uh, Ken Doherty yesterday. Played well in that match. Well, once again, a little bit feeble in pace. Might be able to put the, the blue. Just might have the angle, but even then, where does the next red come from? What goes to that left corner? Absolutely dead on. That was the, the key to it. So, couldn't really miss it. It's a question of, does he go on and win the frame here? He's already missed the black off the spot earlier on. But he should get clear. If he can get onto those two reds from this, then he's in a very strong position. So, still needs the last red, which will be, I think, the one on the left cushion. If he gets behind this red, he can certainly pot it, but he would need to be quite close to it because it's a fairly acute angle there. And that is exactly what he's looking for.
the question of what he can do with this. Can he get behind the red? Does he want to try and knock it out? I don't think the option to knock it out is on, actually. So it's either the, the double or I would say more likely the safety shot from here to keep the advantage. He hasn't played a brilliant shot, but it is safe. That's another very poor shot. Very poor safety shot there. There was not really much to do on that. And he put, his, put it in the place that Matthew is favourite to get it. Could just touch in behind the green and leave the snooker. It's a safe bet. 28 points is the difference, don't forget here. Don't put in overthinking on these sort of shots. Well, he's not playing the snooker, I don't think. Just judging by the way he's queuing it. Could have been playing the snooker behind the green. I don't know if you can quite get to the potting angle on this. Oh, clearly not. Well, you should get a snooker now. Behind the brown. That's very nicely done. That's a great effort, but now means that uh, the youngster can win the frame, and it's a free ball. So this is a frame that 
goes in Tong. I reckon we'll pinch now. Matthew. That's he played the last red to play the snooker behind the green, but he didn't. He went for it. That's a good shot. So, here is the comeback, I guess. There's a frame is one way one in the snooker. And if his team it should be 5 1 up. There's only 4 2 up now. I wonder if he regrets not playing the snooker. <laughs> Having played the last red, he should do. There's a little glance over at his esteemed opponent. And there was a good one to win. Still 4 2 to Matthew Stevens, though. Next door. 3 2 Dominic Dale. But Dot in front by 34 points with three reds left. Match being enjoyed by Mark Allen. Tading on it. <coughs> know that he, for one, would love to see that go to a decider because it's a pulsating match over on that other table. Frame 7, Zhao Xintong break. So, I wonder how Matthew Stevens will react now that he's uh, had a frame taken from him, really. It was 5-1 all day. Oh, the crack's going to appear now. Seven.
เสื้อที่ฟอร์ทีสงสัยว่าจะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสินใจที่จะเป็นการตัดสิน
Ooh, Matthew just got to use his experience here. I really think that he is green as they come. What? Here's Yao Zintong. The potting match. Well, he could easily win because he pots a lot of balls. Seven. Open scoring game, he'll be a particularly good player. I think he's had to remind the referee that Black came up there. I'm not sure what, what's happened here. The referee has stopped play for some reason. Not fluent in Mandarin, I can't tell you why. Now he's checking something. I don't see anything that's been done wrongly here. I don't know if the referee thinks that he's taken two consecutive colours or what he's thinking. So I don't see a problem. I don't think Matthew knows either. The referee's had a bit of. And he's now checking through the scores. And he stopped play to do so, which is a bit un unfortunate. The youngster misses the next ball. I think the referee is smelling a rat that something has taken place wrongly, but it hasn't. But it's a dangerous thing to stop play. I hope he doesn't miss one now. No. Thirty-two. He wasn't put off, and that's good to see. And we've got a game on now, 4-3. Should have been 5-1. This is the uh, last frame he won, wanting a snooker on the colours. Four. This time it's been an absolute no race. Zhao Tong all over him this frame. And we'll see what a dangerous player he is. We're going to find out if he can sustain this. 47. 48. That'll be enough, though, to bring the scores back to 4-3 in favour of Matthew Stevens. And everything to play for. Xiao Zingtong just popping out for a few moments. I'll be back with more commentary on his resumption.
去找。他刚过来。Frame A, Marshall Stevens Black. Matthew Stevens pegged back from 4 1 to 4 3, including the frame where his young opponent wanted a snooker on the colours, which he got. And then a, a very easy frame victory in the last. Of course, he's already had a win against Ken Doherty, Yao Tong in the previous round hit that one a bit firmly He's just got to play safe. He's got to make these t okay. safety shots tell against Xiao Zintong. He's not uh, anywhere near as streetwise around the table as Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens, what? Well, this looks a difficult safety shot he's left with. Not sure how he's going to get back to vault here. Oh, that's, it. that's the way. That was a difficult shot. He played well.
Now, once again, a little bit loose there. And you just get the feeling if Matthew waits long enough, a chance is always going to come his way. And here is another one now. B that he plays the green here. Blue angle on the blue that takes him away from the reds. The green, there you see the angle he's got. And uh, of course that red doesn't pass the green, so he might as well pot the green so he can pot the red afterwards. That's all right. Five. It's got to slow down. No good there. No. No easy shot, thin cut to the right middle, perhaps. No, he's uh, not really firing today. Marshall Stevens, no. He got careful, he could get blown away here, what? Stevens. It's a tremendous potter. I think he's got to play safe now. And I think he'd be reluctant to do so, what I've seen of him. Oof. What on earth was that shot? Oh, well, well, why did he play that? He's a very open player. No, I've seen them play quite so open as this for a long time, actually, playing at a high level. Goes for lots of pots. Some go in, but the number don't. The percentages are a little bit ambitious, put it that way. Somebody moving behind the shot for Matthew. Well, not for the first time in this match. <coughs> Is a two ball plant. Matthew's left that, he'll be annoyed because he don't think he saw it. Yep, he has left it. What? That's a very poor shot to finish there. Will he dunk in the yellow? Will he play behind the yellow? But with a plant like that, misjudged it by a lot. Well, he's not going to play the snooker because he. He invariably goes for everything. Three. Zhao <laughs> Xintong, three. Wow. 
Well, Chance has gone begging for Zhao Zintong. Missing a comfortable red. It's not been a particularly high standard match, to be honest. But it's been an interesting match in that you've got a real clash. Obviously, Matthew used to be a tearaway potter. Not really quite as reckless as Zhao Zintong. Would like to play him on a day when these, these pots are all going in, because I think he would be anybody, I would say. found here The option then, the red down the cushion with the rest. Played it well. And he has got the shot to go into these if he wants to. No. That's worked out well. Now, that is a good shot from Matthew. 16. And that one isn't. Marshall Stevens, 16. Might have got a kick there. The UQ will never really move through for the black. I suspect that's what it was. He's going to take this on. This is difficult. Oh, what a shot that is. Nah. <laughs> Fourteen. Nineteen. 
Lucky two reds stuck together a little bit there. And six. Joshin Tong, 26. I guess he went for the pot there, but he missed that one by a mile. Scrappy this frame, but it's a very important one in the context of this match. From 4 1 to 4 all would be a huge swing. certainly played the pot and I'm sure that Zhao Zintong will play the pot here it's the kind of balls he's been knocking in not this time Playing the cross double, he took a huge risk there. And the red went safe. Six. Yeah. Now both of them played a double now and successfully in a row.
Well, he's unlucky there. So he's not the greeny. Never a forecast that taking place. Four. Seven. <laughs> Anything but straight. Four. I reckon he's very close to being straight on this. I can't imagine he's got much of an angle there. Because uh, it is hard. Good shot. 13. They're yeah, very missable shots, those. Zhao Xin Tong, 13. All of a sudden, Stevens with another chance. This could be a steal on his part. Brown will be the awkward ball. He's very close to it. Too close. Don't think he can go for this. He's looking at the angle. It's difficult, though. Especially, to, well, he might be able to think he can run through onto the blue. Marshall Stevens, five. Can get close enough to even wobble that. I suppose he had to try it. It's a frame winner. Now again, will he be tempted by this? If he misses it, he would have no idea where the balls would end. Oh, good shot. Four.
Well, I think he believes that was a kick. Either way, he's Michael missed Stevens, it. Four. Well, I suspect this youngster will knock this in now, longish range. And at the moment, he looks the stronger of the two players. So, Matthew Stevens, who was in command. I don't know if I've managed to win it the way things are going. Four frames all. Stevens had two or three really good chances on the colours, but he couldn't take them. And from 1 4 to 4 all. It's a good comeback from Zhao Zintong. Battle next door, 4-3 Dominic Dale over Graham Dot. Dot a few in front, with a, oh, big pardon, uh, Dale a few in front with a chance to take a 5-3 lead there. Pocket here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? He'll pick his game up from somewhere. Well, 
whole frame will hinge on whether he can get 14. it. The Reds opening the shot after this one. Fifteen. Well, this could be the most important shot of the match. If this goes right, it spreads the Reds and can win the frame, then back in front. A little lucky there. It wasn't particularly well played. Point. Played into the, f the pink full on. For once, he had a bit of good luck. Despite the shot not being played to perfection. Point. Twenty-nine. Lots of right-hand side, reverse side, taking him down to the table, to the, uh, the next red. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Well, I think he's just all right there. Forty-two. Forty-three. No, he didn't play it well. I mean, to go into them like that, he was always going to cling on them that full into the pack. Wanted to come off a lot. Bit of a glance. And He's finished up touching ball. Marshall Stevens, 50. Nice 50, but shot to break the Reds was not particularly well played. Close. Middle pocket. Thirty-four. 
I think that those two reds are blocking each other now. gone past the middle I think that cuts back but turn in off the pocket to make it possible Uh, cue ball could do a stopping one but it goes into the bulk area and Matthew now with a chance to win the frame and get the lead back crucially sorry Those four reds, otherwise, it's the most disappointing shot. 11. Difficult shot that to uh, play with Schwerb because it starts to drift the other way. Mean 67 the difference with exactly that many on. Seventeen. All right, that should be enough then to get his lead back. Five four. Eighteen. Marshall Stevens, 18, and the frame. Concedes the frame, Zhao Zintong, not interested in trying to play the snookers. Matthew Stevens is back in front, five frames to four, one more needed for a place in the last 16. Dominic Dale leads Graham Dot 5 3, the other match that's taking place this evening. We'll be back for more tomorrow. Phil Yates and 
myself, Neil Foles, will be commentating on this tournament tomorrow. Best of 11 frames right the way through to the semi finals. And frames become longer. Best of 17, the two semi finals, and the final best of 19 on Sunday. Frame 12, Marshall Stevens break. Again, goes for a lot of balls, but he does not come in. What? He hasn't played particularly well, but we have seen glimpses of what he's capable of, I think. He's, he's capable of still winning this match, that's one thing you can say. Four. Five. Shot. I suspect he might take this onto the middle. Oh, what a shot. What a shot that is. Good to see someone playing with absolute freedom. No doubt as he gets older, he'll change his game a lot. But for the moment, he's go, going for a lot of balls. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Good red to get out of the way. That one was the one that um, stopped the black going into one of the corner pockets. And that's a good shot as well. Oh, in a flash, this could go five all. 33. 34. This is pretty impressive, the way he's bouncing back here. What a tremendous long red. Give him what a year, 18 months this ball, and I think he'll be very good. What a knock.
फिफ्थ Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. That's no, a bit unfortunate. Kind of was shaping to go over there, but if you could have caught the red a little three. thicker, it would have been fine. The frame's not over yet. Oh, yeah. Six to four. Well, he didn't judge that very well, and he still wants one more red. Well, I've no doubt he'll take one on. Six to no six. No one's told him about the safety shots yet. You aren't allowed to play them. But in this frame, it's his long, it's his long potting and his consistent potting that has got him here. So he needs to stick to his guns for a while. Oh, there you are. That was playing it in the way that he did. He's kind of asking for a little bit of trouble. Matthew can win, but he needs a black with each of the last five reds. Doesn't seem likely to happen. One. to go up and down the table here because he needs to get hey. on the black. Middle could easily be a plant. Sadly not. My shoes didn't. Hey. Wasn't one of his best. Still needs another red. Can't quite deliver the killer blow in this frame.
Right, as it happens, it's not too bad, although it wouldn't have been a very, very good way of playing it. And if uh, the red have come out into the open, but he certainly had the cue ball in mind there for that last shot. He knocks them in one. about 100 miles an hour. So we're looking at five all here. So we're going to get a decider. Three. Between Matthew Stevens and Zhao Zingtong. 15 year old. Four. Looks younger, but he is 15. A very talented left-hander who is well, Eleven. as green as grass as far as the future in the game is concerned. He's got loads to learn. Wow. But he has got a tremendous eye. Basically, he's potted Matthew off the table for the most part. But he does make mistakes and give chances. 17. But well, I don't think he'd be frightened to win because he beat Ken Doherty in the previous round. And he must have tried to tie him up, Ken, and he didn't manage it. Twenty-five. So that is that. So he decided to watch. Both players have left the arena. Tell you on the other table, Dominic Dale is five-three up over Graham Dot. Every likelihood of it going. 5-4 though, Graham Dot, 40 in front on four reds. It would be surprised nobody if that went to a decider. At least Mark Johnson Allen who is commentating on it. And he's already told me that he would really like to see that happen.
So, everything to play for. The handshake Thank at you. five all. Friend. And yeah, Zhao's in top contract. break. It's been a, a match he's always... Well, he won the first, then he lost the next four. Should have been the next five. But he managed to stop that happening by winning a frame where his opponent wanted a snooker. Or where he wanted a snooker, beg your pardon. And that was to go 4-2. And he went 5-4 down, having got level at 4 all. And now this, a decider. Goes for one immediately, as is one. Dominic Dale is on the brink of winning against Graham. Dot 6 3, just one of the last couple of balls on the other table. I think he is at the point where his opponent needs a snooker. It's Graham. Dot, so Dominic Dale will be through. And she's now official, that's on the other table. So Dominic Dale has won 6-3 against Grand Dot, but still matters to be resolved here. Oh, Matthew didn't play that with any confidence. I don't think he is very confident what I've seen of him today. I've they play considerably better than this. Not particularly close. What has he left? And he's got away with that. A difficult last frame scenario here. Players typically tapping up to reds, especially Matthews, not willing to take any risks.
Well, the safety battle didn't amount to anything there, and uh, you kind of feel that Matthew would have to win that. But he didn't get much of an advantage out of anything. He didn't play behind the green, but he'll take it. Looking at that red to the middle pocket. It's a very good shot. I'm feeling Matthew could get him behind the black here. Maybe it's too close to the cushion, the black. First chance to the young Chinese player. One. So that's what he really wanted, this first opportunity, Xiao Zintong. It would be a real achievement if he could beat Matthew Stevens. As I say, he's only, to me, he's only got half a game at the moment. He's dangerous. But he really is very wayward. I, I know I've said it a few times, but he reminds me of a Ten. 
young player on the tour is a friend of mine, Alfie Burden, and I think it plays less safety than him. He's saying something. Oh dear, that's gone wrong. That's a shame. He's really Never. annoyed about that. Anything but that, and he's on the black. Green ball. Tong <laughs> eleven. In a decider, you never quite know what's going to come. I'm sure he'll get another chance if he shows some patience. gifted Matthew Stevens and this looks a good chance actually with the pink now available the right corner away from its spot and on the cushion and the, the blue in bolt to make a sizable break but <coughs> what he's got in his favour is the positioning of the reds they are very nicely spread so it could get to about 50 here It'll be a, well, gold dust a 50 break <coughs> not a very good shot Well, the shot before was very poor that he wasn't with the red near the pocket yeah. or the one down to the left of the pink. Three hours of playing time. You know, racing through the frames early on. Matthew has made the heavy weather of this. He, say, was on the brink of being 5-1 up, which would have been such a huge lead. And he lost the frame when the youngster wanted a snooker. I think he could have avoided that happening, actually. One thing you know is that he will go for everything. Jiao Zingtong. And again, he'll leave another chance. Just wonder if he can win this match. Well, he'll have to play at the very top of his game against Neil Robertson because he played superbly yesterday. And uh, given the chances he left Matthew today, I suspect that he would be beaten.
Well, he's looked at the black, but it would be a huge shot to take on. I think his opponent would. But just make it right. The only thing I would say is that it's no easy safety shot. Matthew's now looking looking for anything that means he hasn't got to play the black. A little glance at it. Well, it looks to me like he is going to go for this. How about this? This is the most important shot in the match. If he gets it, he could win, but he could easily lose if it doesn't go in. Missable this. He's up from the shot again. He doesn't like it at all. So, deep breath time. thing I would say about Matthew is he does spend a lot of time looking at shots now and it was a bit like earlier on when it was in that position where his, his opponent wanted a snooker he did not over complicate things I think he almost talks himself out of shots I'm not saying there's anything easy here Take one on. Mashus doing eight. And he's left nothing easy. Makes you wonder really if there's any value in going for the black, because where he finished, there was a red or two available, but nothing easy. And of course if he missed the black, then maybe that would have been chance for his opponent to go red black and, and score some so that he went for the black full bloodily got it and still didn't win the game just hoping he gets goes in and I think he had his mind on the cue ball being safe anyway now what does he do I can't believe he'll try and cut the black in This is huge. Well, maybe one shot too many. I guess if it goes in, we're saying marvellous. And we're saying that he's... It's a big deal. But uh, 
unfortunately. The game's never changed. You've got to play shots that you think you can get. What? I don't think he's going to get too many of those. The black was brilliant, but the red was even more dangerous. I think, I think Matthew's a little rattled, though. I don't think he... I think he's under it here. So I wouldn't be certain that he's going to make the frame-winning break. Matthew goes to his left hand, and he's vulnerable sometimes with his left hand. Well, he played that one ever so well, in fairness, but he has missed a few important shots over the years with his wrong hand. Seven. Nineteen. They just slid past that pink crucially. Could be that experience is going to be Twenty. the only thing that separates these two. Jiao Zintong, his game is, is low percentage, entertaining. I mean, he, I've already worked out that he's a very talented player. I hadn't seen him play before. I've seen a lot of the wild cards, but he's one I hadn't seen. But uh, a few little adjustments. I'll watch him go in a year or two, perhaps. 25. He'll be very useful. He's not out of this just yet, but Matthew's got a chance to put further daylight in points here. 29 will be the difference when this goes in. He wants uh, one of those two reds that are under the right-hand side cushion. Maybe both. I don't think so, depending on the colours he takes. Now his biggest worry here is not touching one of those two reds with his waistcoat. Big learning curve. The Zhao Zintong. That well, looks a good angle to go towards the two reds. That's good. That's just what Matthew was looking for. The agony for the youngster, 15 years of age. being cleaned is what he's asked Louis uh, Kang Ming a referee thirty seven well, applause very fair audience in that uh, Clearly they're hoping that their Chinese player will win, but knowing that was frame ball, there was a smattering of applause. And Matthew Stevens probably should have won easier, but ultimately it looks like he's going to win. It's exactly about how many is, as long as you get there. Can't say that he's been at his sharpest, and the same applies to him, that to beat Neil Robertson from what I saw yesterday. safe in this match and he's going to make it through so well done to Matthew Stevens. there's the concession and lucky to Yao Zintong he'll be back he's one to keep an eye on but for now it is the Welshman Matthew Stevens, puff of the cheek a 6-5 victory and Neil Robertson is his opponent in the next round
Right, that's uh, all the snooker for today in the international. This new big ranking tournament here in China. And we'll be back tomorrow. Now, if you're watching in the UK, 6.30 a.m. is uh, the time you need.